So in this lecture, I will show you how to play the C major scale with the play along track at 60 bit beats per minute, 90 beats per minute and 120 beats per minute. The play along tracks come in two versions, a version for one octave up and down and a version for two octaves up and down. So together with the three tempos, this makes six play along tracks for the C major scale. And you will find the play along tracks in the resources with this lecture as usual. Before you begin, be sure that you know how to play the C major scale, as explained in the last lecture, so that you can easily follow the play along tracks. Ok, let's start. Each play along track starts with four clicks of a metronome. After the fourth click, you start to play the C major scale in the same tempo as the metronome clicks. So, I will start with one octave at 60 beats per minute. The scale has to be played up and down. The top note, so the top C, is played twice. Once when coming from the ascending scale and once as the starting note for the descending scale. So you play the scale up and on the C and then start again on the C to play the scale down. After that, there's a little pause and it restarts again. The play along track lets you play four times the scale up and down for, for the one octave version and two times for the two octave version. So there we go. Be sure to start after the fourth click of the metronome and to continue the notes of the C major scale in the same tempo as the four metronome clicks. Little pause and then it starts again. Ok, I will stop it for now. I think you know how it works. I will now quickly play the 90 beats per minute version and after that the 120 bit beats per minute version. Ok, one time is enough. And here is the 120 beats per minute version. Let's move to the version with two octaves. So after the four clicks of the metronome, you start to play in the same tempo as the metronome till you reach two octaves up. Then you hold the C for twice as long as the other notes. Then you repeat the highest C and go down. So like this. One, two. So you heard that I counted 1, 2 for the last C in the ascending scale and then started to play the scale in descending order. I know, it's a bit different than in the one, one octave version and it's needed here, otherwise it doesn't work with the rhythm of the play along track. Ok, let me play it now with the play along track at 60 beats per minute.
So a little pause, then it starts again. Etc. Okay, the 90 and 120 beats per minute versions go in exactly the same way, so I think that I don't have to show you that. And, very important, I've shown you now how to play your right hand with the play along tracks, but don't forget to practice also your left hand. You can of course use the play along tracks also for your left hand, it works exactly the same way. So, finally, I'd like to say that it's not needed to play at the highest sp speed, so 120 beats per minute. If you're able to play it well at that speed, then it's great. If not, it's also good. If you play it well at 60 beats per minute, that's already okay to continue with the next lectures. You can always speed it up later. Remember that it's better to play it well slowly than to play it quickly but full of mistakes.